Hello, today I wanted to talk about uh, complacency and you know really looking at ways maybe to not become complacent and also just to to think about for yourself and reflect if you are becoming complacent obviously specifically to the mental side the reason i wanted to talk about this is i had a client recently or, or i should say the mom of a client of mine you know kind of talked to me about you know they were getting some feedback from coaches and uh, the owner of the team that this individual is on that they feel he's becoming complacent and kind of you know done a lot of work developed a, a huge amount has had to do more work than most people for a variety of reasons a lot of it that I've helped him with but he's now kind of almost maybe because in his mind he was like there's an end point um, almost been like I've, I've done the amount of work I've done everything I need to do or I've set I've reached the goals that we kind of initially set so now I don't need to do anything more and obviously I'm gonna have to work with him on on resetting goals and, and pushing that even further but this is not uncommon it's not uncommon to see people where they kind of especially on the mental side they've hit a point and then they're like we're good i'm doing my visualization i've done some goal setting like we're good to go not realizing that this is a continuous journey and you never want to get to that place in that mindset of like we're good i'm doing enough i've done enough um i'm good where i'm at because there's always ways especially on the mental side to continue to grow because we can always learn more about ourselves we can always you know dive into some other elements of the mental side whether that's mindfulness or as i said just getting to know ourselves, increasing our self-awareness which is one of the best things that we can do and i'm going to do another video on this part of like the more that we know ourselves and the better we are as people the better we are at the things that we are going to do so there's there's a never-ending number of things that we can develop or dive deeper into on the mental side and if you're kind of in this place where you're like well i've got my tools um i've hit those maybe initial goals that i set for myself i'm good to go and i see this a lot especially with younger athletes and i'm always having to challenge them like yes we set these goals and we have to set these goals so we kind of know that we are obviously improving in some way shape or form but now we got to then set new goals and and especially if you can be really good at this is to be proactive to front load and to almost look and see like okay where what am i going to need not necessarily right this moment but maybe a year from now six months from now two years from now right understanding that just as you often approach your physical game where you're always feeling like you could be better you could uh, fine-tune a little bit more the the motivation the part of you that you know spends so many hours honing that physical skill set you need to almost have that exact same kind of mentality with the mental side of honing that mental side and knowing that it is never ending and there is no real end point while well, you're going to reach goals and milestones and it's important to uh, appreciate those to recognize those because we do need to recognize how far we have grown where we have come from while at the same time balancing that with where do we need to go so if you're starting to get into that comfortable complacency mindset, I challenge you to try and find ways to continue to dive deeper into the mental side because if you get too complacent, it can lead to catastrophe in terms of just things starting to go wrong, not performing in the manner in which you like, maybe getting cut from a team. And sometimes these things can kind of you know, blindside you and you're not realizing or wondering why this is happening, but a big part of it might've been because you became complacent and you weren't continually developing that mental side so that you didn't have the skill set you needed when you needed it and as i said this this client of mine was a great reminder of that need to continually look to evolve grow and find new things that we can evolve and grow and, and it definitely is hard i'm not saying it's easy because for some people you you got to put in so much energy and effort to get to some of these things on the mental side and it's hard to understand sometimes that like once you put in all this effort you've gotten to this great place now you got to go to put in even more effort so as i said it's important to balance you know what you've accomplished with what we still need to accomplish and and where we need to go to be the person and the athlete that you want to be